What's up YouTube, my name's Will and you're watching Willpower Training. So today I'm at Corby Gymnastics Academy and I'm gonna be showing you guys a beginner's calisthenics bar workout routine. Now, the things that I'm gonna be showing you are literally just the basics. If you've never done it before, you wanna be doing pull-up variations, uh, dips, definitely some form of dips. You wanna do some ab training as well. And then there's another cool exercise which I'll show you towards the end if you're feeling more advanced by the time you complete this workout. The first thing I want you guys to do is go from a passive hang for about four seconds into an active hang for about four seconds. When you go into the active hang, you wanna feel like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, keeping your arms as straight as possible so that you're not using your arms to pull yourself up. And this will enable you to use correct form when you do the pull-ups in your actual set to make sure that you're not using your arms, you're actually using your back, and so you develop the correct muscle when doing the main exercise. Okay, so the first bar variation on the pull-ups that we've got is just normal pull-ups. So you can have a close grip or a wider grip if you feel, whatever you feel activates your lats the most. Um, and you just wanna concentrate on getting that squeeze that I showed you in the previous clip. After you've done that, you want to supinate your grip. So instead of you having your hands this way on the bar, you have your hands this way on the bar and do some chin ups. That'll be activating more your biceps. Again, the same, concentrate on form. Just keep slowly pulling up, pulling down. Don't let it swing too much. After you've completed that, then what you probably want to move on to is doing some negative reps. Now, negative reps means that rather than the pull phase being this phase, what you're going to do is jump up onto the bar, catch it around your chest, and then the negative reps slowly down until your arms are fully extended. The last variation that we've got is with a resistance band. Now you can choose whichever grip you like with this one. The resistance band is just to help you uh, reduce the weight that you're lifting. Then we're gonna move on to some dips. Simply get yourself over the bar on top, however you wanna do that, whatever's easiest for you. And you wanna be arms straight, go down to the bar so that your chest is in line with the bar and then push back up and repeat that. Then we're gonna do some abs work. So what we're gonna do is variations on leg raises. The first variation that we've got is the tuck. So all you're gonna do is bring your knees up to your chest like this and back down again. And the second variation is straight leg. So same again, but straight up like that and then back down. I do actually have one more ab exercise guys, this one's slightly more advanced, it's called an L-sit. What you want to do, keep your arms as straight as you possibly can, 
move your legs up to an L position. So you're basically doing a half of a straight leg raise and hold it in that position for as long as possible. Try to aim for about 30 seconds and you will feel the burn. Now these last two moves I'm going to throw in just for people who kind of feel like they're advancing quickly. The first is the pullover. So what you're going to do is, again, whatever grip you feel like, pull on the bar, kick up as hard as you can, pull everything in, pull yourself over the bar and you'll end up straight like this. And the last move we've got is skin the cat. So how are you gonna do this? From hanging, go as if you're gonna do a leg raise tucked, go through, so that you're hanging from the bar with your legs through your back. Try not to overextend your shoulders if you haven't got that flexibility, just go as far as you feel comfortable and then pull yourself back through and come back down nice and smoothly. So, YouTube, that was my beginner's calisthenics bar workout. Now, if you guys have any questions about anything that I did in the video, please make sure to comment them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer as many of you guys as I can. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to smash that like button, that really helped me out. And I do have a few tips for complete beginners. The first tip is just concentrate on form. Form is key. And form is the thing that is going to help you build the most muscle. Now, by form, I mean, for instance, the active hang phase before you go into a pull-up. Anything, any pull-up variation whatsoever, you want to make sure that you get that scapula pulled down before you pull on the bar. Otherwise, you're just going to be using your arms and you're not activating your back properly. And that is incorrect form. So you won't be building as much muscle or size on your back as you might think. Now, the second thing uh, that I'm going to say is that don't worry about reps. Don't worry about reps because all you're concentrating on is linking back to the first tip is you're just concentrating on four. So it doesn't matter how many reps you can do, if you can do one, if you can do two, if you can do five, if you can do ten. It really doesn't matter at this point. Just concentrate on getting the exercise correct. If you're watching this as sort of intermediate level or above, then I would recommend probably anywhere between an 8 and 12 rep uh, range. I would say it's probably the best for muscle hypertrophy. Uh, that is what I was told. That is what I know from my experience of, you know, being in the fitness culture, I guess you would say. Um, I do recommend between 8 and 12 reps if you are looking for a rep range. And uh, I would do that for three sets. And the last tip that I have, guys, if you're just starting out with calisthenics, evaluate, you know, your body type or where you are with your health and fitness right now. So if you are, let's say, you don't have that much muscle mass at the minute, then I would recommend that you eat more calories to enable you to build that muscle uh, quicker. And if you are a little bit overweight or, you know, carrying a little bit of that extra body fat percentage, then what I would suggest is that you go and do cardio two, three times a week so that you can reduce your body weight so that it would make it easier to lift yourself because, of course, calisthenics is own body weight training, guys. It means that you have to be able to lift your own body weight and obviously the heavier that you are, the more difficult that is going to be for you. So I would definitely recommend going and do some form of cardio two to three times a week. My favourite form of cardio at the moment is skipping. I love skipping. It's great. Great fun, you can do it anywhere if you have your own rope or most gyms will have several skipping ropes uh, that you can just use anytime you want. You've got, of course, standard treadmill, you've got a bike, you've got flipping cross trainers, you've got a multitude of things to choose from. Go running outside, do whatever you want, but definitely do some cardio, guys, if that is your situation. So once again, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button. It lets me know that you like my content and click the subscribe button if you want to see more keep up to date with my videos i will be trying to upload maybe once a week but at the moment 
with like the equipment that I've got, it's kind of hard to get things rolling at the moment, but I'm definitely going to be aiming for once a week, so if you don't want to miss any videos, uh, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified if you hit the little bell icon. It means that you get notifications when I upload because sometimes YouTube just likes to not send notifications to you that people have uploaded. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.